This is George from iTech Legion. You know, over the last few years, uh, if you'd asked me the definition of foolish, I probably would have included buying a power supply strictly by brand name under that. Reason being, the OEM is actually much more important than the manufacturer. We've seen manufacturers or marketing companies, whatever you'd like to call it, uh, having lines of PSUs that use multiple OEMs within the PSU with markedly different quality within the same line or, you know, under the same brand name. This obviously, you know, makes it a bit of a chore to try and research out exactly what you're buying. Recently, EVGA simplified that quite a bit. The new G2P2 line is Superflower Leadex platform, while they have introduced a new second line, the GS and PS line, or the Silent series, uh, which is made by Seasonic uh, on the Seasonic OEM platform. So what they've essentially done is broken it down to the two best platforms available and just left it at that. There are absolutely no worries about getting a lesser OEM from EVGA these days. Now today we're going to take a look at the new 1050G, which is built on the Seasonic platform, delivering 1050 watts of power. Getting into the 1050G, you know, we're used to seeing, um, companies actually doing a little bit of, not corner cutting per se, but making adjustments to meet a price point. And that's not what we've been seeing from EVGA, and it's not what we're seeing with the uh, 1050G. The 1050G has an announced manufacturer's uh, suggested retail price of $199, which puts it really uh, in the company of lower end 1000 watt units. It's about $30 less than the uh, comparable units from other manufacturers, uh, sometimes even more. And it winds up pricing out, like I say, with units that do not compete with it. So EVGA is doing some really interesting things here as far as pricing, uh, being very, very aggressive in the market, which is very good for the consumer. Now, like I say, uh, going on here, take a look at the box. You've got standard EVGA box with the 80 plus gold certification right down the bottom. So 90% efficiency, uh, 10,050 watt power supply. Moving around to the back, we do get a look at some of the features here. And going through, you know, it's fully modular power supply, uses eco mode, so you do have a fan off mode uh, where the fan will actually stay off when it's under a certain temperature, and there's actually a chart of it right here, and will then come on so it allows for silent computing, uh, computing during day-to-day -day tasks and during idle. So then the fan will ramp up as it needs it, staying off uh, at lower temperatures and at idle. Single 12 volt rail, and that rail is capable of 87 amps or, um, 1,044 watts, as we see here. The minor rails, uh, the 5 volt and 3.3 volt, 25 amps each, total of 125 watts. So single rail now also uses a DC to DC converter on the minor rails, so you do get better efficiency on the minor rails, uh, minor rails as well as better conversion, so you get better regulation on the minor rails as well. Definitely a much nicer design uh, than AC to DC uh, converter on the minor rails. Moving on from there, 100% uh, Japanese capacitors throughout on Nippon Candy Con. Uh, so no skimping there. Like I say, there's really, you know, it's kind of remarkable what EVGA has done here as far as using the top quality components in this platform with very, very good tolerances, you know, to achieve the 80 plus gold and keep the price point where it is. Uh, 135 millimeter Teflon nano steel bearing fan. So very, very quiet computing, 80 plus gold, like we say, for 90% efficiency. It's got heavy duty protection circuitry, six way protections, 100,000 uh, 100, hour MTBF, and seven year warranty. If you've dealt with uh, EVGA in the past, you know that EVGA customer service is second to none and they stand behind their warranties like nobody else. Now let's take a look at the unit itself. Uses what we've seen from EVGA in the past, standard casing, uh, very nice textured finish with the actual fan grill built into the case itself. So very good looking power supply um, in the case. Now going over, all of your modular connectors are on one side with the eco on off switch. With the eco switch off, um, it's going to run like you'd expect a power supply to run with a low speed fan at uh, lower loads and lower temperatures with the fan picking up as the temperature goes up. And like I say, with the eco on, fan stays off at lower temperatures uh, for completely silent computing. Over on the side, you've got the EVGA sticker with 1050G, as you see, as well as um, the outputs once again and the 80 plus gold certification. Um, 
that repeats, of course, on both sides, as you see. And on the bottom, very simple, just serial number. And on the back, as you see, it is completely mesh, completely vented, so you do get good flow through, good cooling, and good um, flow through the air, as I say. So you've got the intake exhaust not going to be restricted whatsoever, your on-off switch, as well as power input connector. One of the things that's been very notable in all the EVGA power supplies has been their accessory kit, especially the cables. We'll take a look at the cables in a minute, but let's uh, take a quick look at the rest of the accessories. Get your owner's manual, install manual. Very, very simple. Quite a few different languages. Uh, it's power supply. I mean, you know, not a whole lot to see here. Carrying pouch for the cables with a Velcro closure. So any extra cables you have, or if you're storing the unit, You've got a pouch for the cables with the EVGA, uh, EVGA logo. Nice heavy duty power cable. Velcro wire ties. Mounting thumb screws, also in black. You've actually got a jump starter for the power supply. You can actually plug this in so the power supply does not need to be plugged into the motherboard to actually get it to start. This is, uh, especially comes in handy if you're doing water cooling, doing some any bleeding or filling. Um, but any other reason you need to start it up comes right with it. And finally, as you see here, you've got a carrying case and storage case for the PSU itself. Just simple Velcro um, closure, soft case. Not really a whole lot of protection, but it'll keep the dust off it. Now let's get a look at the cables. Now, of course, for some people, the looks of the cables aren't a big deal, but it's becoming increasingly important for uh, more and more consumers as we see more and more windowed cases, more stylized bills. And one of the things that EVGA does really, really well is the cables themselves. Um, as you see, appearance-wise, they're all black end-to-end, -end, really nicely sleeved, um, not a spot of color anywhere. With the um, shrink or heat shrink, you know, almost up to the connector itself. Great looking cables. Uh, you very, very rarely find anything that's good looking. Now, you know, a lot of you, a lot of you have uh, been kind of taught by marketing to believe that uh, the flat cables are, you know, the thing of the future, et cetera, et cetera. But the fact of the matter is, uh, once you try and run them, they're really nearly impossible to run. And the fact of the matter is, they're the cheapest cables on the market to produce, and that's the only reason anybody uses them or includes them with the PSU. These are not like that. These are very well-made cables, very nicely done, as you see. Now, you've got a good uh, selection of connectors on here. You've got two 8-pins uh, for the motherboard itself, now, and 10 6 plus, 2, 6 plus 2 PCI Express, so obviously you're going to be able to do, you know, 4 and 5-way SLI. However, something to think about here is the fact that one of the uh, spots on the PSU is traded off between a PCI Express or the second 8-pin um, connector for the uh, CPU on the motherboard. So it's really essentially going to be two CPU connectors plus four uh, PCI Express connectors, which each of which has two uh, six plus two pins on it, or it's going to be five PCI Express connectors with the uh, 10 six plus two plus only one motherboard connector. So, I mean, obviously that's gonna be an extreme case and not something anybody's gonna consider. Motherboard uh, cable, exactly the same. So like I say, great cable set, great cable selection. Now also you have 16 SATA connectors and five four pin connectors plus one floppy connector should you still be running a floppy drive uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Now we're going to install it and let's take a look at how it performs. Getting a look at the performance, no surprises here. I mean, we've seen this platform before and we know that EVGA has outfitted it very, very well with all top quality components. Regulation is absolutely outstanding on all three rails, exactly where we expected it to be. But now, uh, since this is the silent series, let's talk about the fan a little bit. Uh, the eco mode obviously keeps the fan silent, but even at higher speeds, the fan is virtually inaudible. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the eco mode. I typically don't use it. Reason being, when the fan is at lower speeds, uh, unless you're going to be crawling around on the floor, sticking your ear un, you know, underneath the uh, computer case, you're not going to hear the fan anyway. And that was absolutely the case with this fan uh, once it was installed in the case. So eco mode does work, but you know whether you use it or not is going to be entirely up to you. Personally, I prefer, uh, like I say, a little bit of flow going through the power supply. You know, keep a little air flowing through, keep it a little cooler. But either way, you're not going to hear it. And even at higher speeds, um, you were hard pressed. You know, like I say, once it was installed in the case, to hear the fan at all. 
You know, over the last six months, we've seen EVGA go from kind of being an also ran in the power supply market to being the name to own right now in top tier power supplies from about 750 watts and up. And they really did it the old fashioned way. They've just simply gone ahead and offered the best products on the market at very, very reasonable prices, fantastic accessory kits, seven year warranty and unparalleled customer service. I mean, it's a combination that you really can't beat. And the 1050G is no exception. I mean, this is an absolutely incredible piece for $199 manufacturer's uh, retail price. Um, and obviously it's gonna be discounted as well. Performance on it was absolutely stellar. You know, you look at the accessories, absolutely top notch, and you're getting everything EVGA to go along with it. Now there's no question, this is joining the rest of the EVGA lineup uh, as an Editor's Choice Award from High Tech Legion. With EVGA, like I say, right now being the top name to have. So whether you want, you know, uh, 1050G or whether you're looking, you know, at the P2 or, you know, the PS, EVGA really, really is doing it and they're making a piece that's going to suit your needs. Um, so kudos to EVGA, another Editor's Choice Award and a really fantastic power supply in the 1050G.